Before we get into today's program, I have a little announcement. Do you know that behind the camera there's a man and he's called David Mustard. He now actually has started to step in front of the camera himself and he has a YouTube channel called David Mustard. So YouTube search David Mustard or click the link below, subscribe to his channel. It's about movies and TV. So for everyone who likes that, go show him some love, show him some support. That will mean the world to me and of course to David behind the camera. Cheers guys. Are you messy? Do you want to get cleaned up? Maybe I can help you a little bit with that. Me myself, I'm a tidy person. I don't mind taking a stroll around the apartment and sorting things out. Moving a thing over there, fluffing a pillow, throwing out a half dead bouquet of flowers, organizing my office supplies. Now, regular cleaning, that's a whole other story. I don't like it one bit. But keeping my home tidy and organized, I actually think is kind of fun and easy. What about you? Are you messy or tidy? Let's talk in the comments. And also, please give me a thumb up and click subscribe if you think this video is helpful to you in any way. Tidying up only gets annoying and overwhelming when it's a big job that feels daunting. If we tidy a little bit every day, we're going to be in a good shape. Before you leave in the morning, at once when you get home in the evening or right before bed, whatever works for you really. Since I work from home, I tidy a bit here and there throughout the day, to be honest. Otherwise, in a messy home, I just wouldn't be able to concentrate on working. This is a classic, you guys, but I really like it. To find a special home for all of your things. A specific place where they live so that you always know where to put them when tidying. Also, as soon as I bring something new into my home, I find a place for it straight away. Makes things a lot easier. I've talked about this before. I think that having larger storage spaces than what you actually need is a good way to keeping things organized and neat. I really hate it when you have to squash things together to make them fit in your cupboard, wardrobe or storage space. It makes it look messy, which will make it feel messy and that makes me super uncomfortable. Of course, this tip probably wouldn't apply to you if you are a collector or a hoarder. Big storage spaces only means more room for you to fill, so in your case, I would rather go with a painfully small storage solution. To not encourage hoarding. It's a given. The fewer things you own, the less there is to tidy up. Donate, recycle or throw away the things that you don't use or you don't love. To me at least, it's a really freeing feeling. This is something David and I have started doing ever since moving into this apartment. One of the reasons for this is that we get goodie bags or gifts from brands and PR agencies that we didn't really ask for or need. So we have made a gift box, which really is just a box we put all the things we don't want to keep. And every time we have a guest over, they can go through the gift box and pick whatever they want. And once in a while, we'll donate the things that never gets picked. It's a really fun way of getting rid of things because you get to make someone else happy with them. Someone that will appreciate the stuff more than you have. For all the things that don't run smoothly in my home, I want to have a plan. Usually we have a little weekend project for the weekends when we have time to spare. It might be to paint some shelves, to go through our storage room, to clean out the fridge or to sharpen our knives or whatever really. I think it's a good idea to make a list of all the things that you're unhappy with in your home and then just tick them off one by one. Maybe one thing per week if that works for you. Every week you'll have a lovelier home, but since you're not taking on too much at once, it won't feel exhausting. To me, it's quite the opposite in fact. I think it's a really nice way to spend an hour or so of your Saturday. I definitely believe that the more organized and clear we are in our minds, the easier it is to have an organized and clear surrounding. The better we know ourselves and the clearer our plans, goals and dreams are, the easier it is to give a damn about our surroundings. Not sure if this is making sense at all, but that's how it works for me anyway. My final tip isn't really a practical one, it's more about our own mindset. So when it comes to tithing, I always keep my eye on the price which means that I basically just focus on how lovely it is to have a neat and beautiful home instead of focusing on how boring it is to do the actual tidying. I know that I'm miserable in messy places. 
I can't relax, I can't work, I won't be happy. So tidying for a few minutes every day is a small price to pay. Not that I'm like overly tidy, I don't mind a little bit of messiness, but I do have a threshold. When the mess is above a certain point, I just got to clean up. Can you relate? Or are you a messy person who just couldn't care less about the state of your home? I would love to see you in the comment sections. And of course, I'd love you to give me a thumb up and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. See you sweeties in a couple of days. Hey do!